Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with My Hero Academia season 5 episode number 25 and this is the final episode of this season. Okay, uh, the previous episode, um, Shigaraki, he won against Redestro and he is kind of like the boss now <laughs> in a way, boss of the whole like, you know, organization, his organization and as well as obviously um, Redestro's organization as well. Uh, uh, they named, they gave their uh, organization a new name, which is called, I forgot the name, uh, it was something, I forgot the name anyways, but they, they gave the, it, it a new name and it is as big as ever, he, he has a lot of people working under him now and Giganto Makia is also in there and obviously Redestro and his, like, you know, other, the other people are also there, so yeah uh, this is a big deal i guess and i think this will be like one of the biggest threats for the heroes that they're going to face and in a way i'm kind of happy for shigaraki <laughs> even though he's a villain you know um you know he he has his place now you know the the whole when he was a child the, his the abuse that he went through and everything that he went through uh, the things that I'm doing, obviously, I'm not condoning that. But for him personally, yeah, I guess I'm happy for him in a way. You know, like he has his friends with him, and yeah, he he's the boss, the big boss now. So, and he he still wants more power. Like I, like in the previous episode, we also saw him asking that doctor. You know that you promised me that if Giganto Mika listens to me, you'll give me more power. So yeah, he's not stopping. He. He wants to go even further beyond, you know, plus ultra, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started with this episode. Let's see how this ends this season. So yeah, like uh, this is probably be like uh, one of those episodes which will be like the calm before the storm or something, you know. And then from the next season, uh, yeah, everything is going to go down. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number 25 of My Hero Academia season 5 and uh, yeah so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go one month earlier <laughs> we'll do what we want Oh, Hawks is here. Okay. Oh yeah, best genies. Whoa, I, I can't find, don't know what. Is that re the real one or? I don't think that's the real one. Feel good inks, control over the network. Yeah. Well. More, more. I, I'm saying more. At least at this stage, I think it's more. Damn, the, the girl looks like uh, Tenko. <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay. True. Hmm. Yeah, it's okay.
Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Work singularity. Oh. That's a long one. Okay. Uh, okay. Four months. Whoa. What? Uh, um like how much stronger can he get like i'm thinking about it okay it's my hero academia now not villain <laughs> like i'm thinking how much stronger can he get like i'm guessing the thing that he said that it's putting a lot of strain in his body you know like his own hands are getting decayed with that so probably it will be something counteracting that and it'll take four months and this this thing is happening one month ago so okay three months from okay i think it's something like that Like Deku really needs to, uh, like, you know, quickly start controlling all the other quirks as well. Otherwise, yeah, this whole fight with the villains will not go well. How, however strong they are now after working under Endeavor, it's not enough. I doubt it's enough. Like the villains got some major power up. Like I've never seen something like this before. Like them getting such like if they were like ten, they're hundred now. Present, okay. <laughs> okay, the training, I guess. Oh, <laughs> Neville Saber. Okay, nice. A new power. Oh. All right, he still has his stomach ache. Mass acid man. Oh, <laughs> okay, all might you're bleeding. All right. <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. Ooh. Nice. Reading ahead. Okay, Shishido. Improving such. Oh, we worked with Gang Orca. Okay. <laughs> More balls. 
<laughs> oh. All right. Oh, three of them. Oh, okay. Individual. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Man. Okay. Oh, this is Goda. <laughs> what? Okay. Whoa, he looks cool. Obviously, Hawks. Yeah. Ooh, this this looks cool as well. Oh, fat gum. Yeah. Okay, they, they worked with uh, I, I think uh, that lady. I forgot her name. The dragon lady, Ryukyu. Yeah. Okay. What are those? Soda what? Majestic. We've never seen this guy before, did we? <laughs> and the <a> bear. <laughs> And where's Zeku? There you go. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yes. Nice. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. He did look back, kind of. Oh, wait, that's the end? Wait. Oh, no, never mind. Casting how did <laughs> fast and hot? Okay. So did he master it? <laughs> it's kind of similar in a way. Okay, now for the next one. <laughs> okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so <sighs> Oh, person mine. Oh yeah, the whole thing with nomus. Oh. Damn. Okay. What? Oh, is there a power? Oh no. It, it's, in, it's getting bigger, the horn. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we need 
the next quirk. I hope he gets uh, a little vision like he got, you know, for the... Okay. Alright, let's see. Second or third user, alright. Hmm. A second, that's very... Huh. Yeah. Lariat. Daigoro Bunch. Yeah, this guy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but they made it like that way. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and it get good went became stronger and stronger and stronger as it piled up. Okay. Yeah. Float. Float and float in water or oh no. Oh it can fly now. That'll be interesting. So that was her quirk. She could f What? Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Die. <laughs> what? <laughs> Face. How is that point? <laughs> oh my god oh my god, oh my god. What, is what is this okay oh my god damn that's a long name Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like this Oh my god, Todoroki! <laughs> that one? I don't think that was sarcasm. 
He really meant that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Deku. <laughs> oh my god, he, he didn't get his sponsor. Oh, there he got. He got it. Hmm. Meeting with Stain. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Decided to live. What? Yeah, uh, he he's a hero, you know. Like it, it's bound to bother him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. <sighs> Ban on the liberation front, yeah. There's a backer. Hospital? Oh yeah, oh yeah, this guy. Oh, he, this, this guy's the backer. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, th this scene was after everything happened. Alright. Hmm. Boy, okay. Um, that scene that we saw, um, that was actually uh, before uh, after the flash, uh, flat not flashback, but the, the whole my villain academia. After that, okay, I was thinking like they're like you know experimenting on him, so why is no one saying anything? But it, it, it was Shigaraki's own decision, not experimenting, but it, it was like you know, like. As they said, oh my god, so he'll have to stay like that for four months? Like that? God. Oh my god, four months. Okay. Now, like, we saw their power increase, like, you know, the heroes, they have also gotten stronger, but Nah, this is not enough. Not at all. I don't know. Oh boy. But one thing that... But that's not, not just them, you know? Like, I was going to say that one thing that improved for them was the teamwork. But we also saw that League of Villains' teamwork also increased a lot. So... Yeah. I don't know. Oh, there's still something left. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Expeditionary operation. Oh, they're all together?
expeditionary operation like they're going to go somewhere or something wait that doll we see that in the ending who's that person Oh boy. Oh, okay. Whoa. All right. So yeah, as I said, <laughs> this episode is the calm before the storm, basically. And we know that the sixth season has been announced. Uh, has a date been announced? I'm not sure of that. Let me just go check if a date has been announced or not. I don't think the date has been announced. Let's. Uh, okay. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, My Hero Academia season five, season six. No, no date. Hmm, it's no date. So, uh, I'm guessing this is. It it took season five to come out. It took one year, I think. So, it'll probably be either probably be somewhere uh, at the end of 2022 or in the middle of 2022 some something like that probably the end of 2022 it'll come out so yeah all right so uh that was the final episode uh episode number 25 now <clears throat> okay so here we can see that shigaraki like all these things that we saw here was something that shigaraki uh you know went through all this like you know the whole like you know redestro situation and everything and then after getting so strong he went to the doctor and asked him to make him more stronger and this is going to make him even more stronger if he is able to withstand the pain for four months so i don't know how how else can he become even more stronger than this but yeah, I guess it is going to happen. So now I don't know. Like I don't think the heroes are ready for this. Like we kind of saw their like this episode kind of showed us their overall improvement that everyone went through. And I don't know. I feel like they they just improved a little bit, I think. Like the amount of development that the villains went through it's like heaven and hell difference uh like you know like like look at the, like just look at the villains mm, shigaraki got like a, an immense power boost he can like now you know the things that are connected to him will get decayed um the biggest uh, improvement uh, another biggest improvement is twice where he can make so many clones now and uh, toga as well where he can she can mm, mimic the you know like uh, what's her name uh, mimic uh, uh, uraraka S uh, not uraraka sorry uh, the people that he has she has the blood for mimic their quirks as well so like <sighs> and i don't know like this this is looking very very dangerous for the heroes and they also have like a huge backing from the um uh from redestro and his organization giganto Makia is also in and i don't know like this is yeah not good this is really not good <clears throat> so hopefully within this a little bit i'm guessing they have a little bit more time um, during the time that Shigaraki is getting like you know ready they'll have a little bit more time so hopefully they was able to master the float by that time and so wait a minute so the, the, does that mean that uh, Nana Shimura's quirk was just flying was was it like yeah it kind of seems like n nothing much you know like she herself was strong pretty much but the only thing that she, if her quirk if, if only her quirk was flying 
Yeah, and it kind of uh, makes sense as, as like you know like I, I think uh, like as Bakugo was saying that all these quirks that ha they had were very something very normal, very less powerful. For example, um, the guy he, who who can make those whips, like that was just it. He could just make whips, and those helped them like you know quickly to quickly uh, catch up with the uh, villains and everything. I think. All Might's quirk is probably the strongest out of all of them. I mean, I, we still don't have no any, we have no idea about the first and the second, uh, you know, uh, people who got the quirk, who was the inheritor of the quirk. We have no information on them, so we can't talk about anything about them. But yeah all might squirk was probably the strongest and it kind of makes sense because as like you know the quirk got um, passed from one person to another another you know it it started piling up and it is it get got stronger as time went by kind of similar to the whole quirk singularity i think that's what he called it you know the quirk singularity that the doctor was talking about like you know as quirks started uh, like you know as generations started increasing uh, the quirks started to get more powerful and one day it'll be like you know impossible to control them so this whole thing so it kind of is similar to like you know uh uh all for like the, the power like deku's uh quirk so i don't know like you know like uh, it 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 is uh, like you know pretty what can i say like he can use deku can use like it's it's kind of interesting to see that he has like you know super strength deku has super strength kind of similar to all might so now he can use these multiple quirks as well so in a way it will make him even stronger and this is quite unique because i don't think any villains have this power does any villain have this power you know making use of multiple quirks i don't think so even um now nah, i don't think any villain has this you know using making use of multiple quirk so uh, except uh, all for one like uh, that's like he's different i'm not like including him <laughs> but yeah so <clears throat> oh wait a minute it kind of is not similar to all for one because all for one kind of st steals the quirks like it's completely different from all for one it's just uh you know like they could being able to use multiple quirks kind of is a little bit similar to all for one's uh, usage of multiple quirks even though they are not same at all at the same time like Deku's quirks come from her his predecessors like all like you know like it, it always the quirk always had these quirks they were piling up which is obviously completely different from from all for one but still you know like he if he can use all this quirk and master all this quirk Deku yeah he will be pretty strong a lot strong and he still has like you know he, he still has not unlocked the full potential of um all Mike's power when he gets that when he's able to use 100 percent of his power you know he'll get even more stronger so yeah but that that's going to probably take a lot of time which unfortunately they don't have at least at the situation now at this situation the villains look a lot more stronger yeah oh boy Okay, and uh, yeah, this episode was a really chill episode, you know. Uh, kind of saw Deku and All Might, Deku, All Might, and Baku having a conversation as well about the quirks and everything. And <clears throat> now <laughs> it's kind of funny, like, you know, seeing Baku go, uh, like. <laughs> who would have thought that Bakugo would change like this you know like from season one like now he's just it's just an angry man <laughs> he's just an angry boy you know uh, who means no harm like <laughs> like seeing this episode when when he gets in you know I can see that like when he gets in like everyone's like uh like, you know what did they say yeah like no meat for you or something like that and Bakugo starts grumbling and <laughs> you know like kind of yeah like it gets angry and that and everyone's like talking normally 
so <laughs> this 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 whole thing has kind of become a normal thing for them like bakugo gets angry everyone's like oh yeah it's like every day like you know <laughs> no need to pay any attention to that and they just keep on like you know doing their own thing and bakugo gets more angry <laughs> it's kind of funny to see like how things have changed and like you know like it's obvious like when they were barely acquainted with each other <laughs> people were really hesitant to talk with bakugo because of his always um, angry like you know like personality like he's always angry and people hesitated to talk but now everyone's like uh, like hey bagu how's it going and bagu gets angry and he's like oh okay like <laughs> yeah like we're all used to this and they just carry on and bagu like you know carry on carries on with his own like you know angry <laughs> thing and no one like even pays attention to that they're like yeah this is everyday like you know stuff so <laughs> like like nice really nice like it's, it's nice to see that everyone's like really getting along like one year has passed so yeah it's quite a long time and like this is kind of different from uh, other like you know like other what can i say other school because uh, in one year i doubt people get this close to each other but you know like there's a difference why these like you know all these characters got so close because they are actually fighting villains you know and usually in these type of situations where people fight villains and everything uh they have to trust the other person and put their lives on their hands and also take the burden of the teammates lives in their own hands like it's like a whole codependency thing you know whenever they fight together against a villain so this i think this kind of boosts the amount of uh you know uh, what can i say uh the amount of friendship and the amount of closeness the bond gets even more stronger because of this whole thing like they're not normal students you know like with normal students for normal friends they just like you know kind of hang around in school you know kind of uh like you know like kind of chill uh, hang around uh, crack jokes and you know like then they go back home and this happens but here they're basically helping each other be alive during critical situations and putting their lives on others hands and saving people so yeah that's why the amount of friendship that they were able to uh gather and the bonds is so much more stronger than it ever will be <clears throat> and uh, yeah that's it so another thing we saw here is like A is going to get start getting trained, I guess. Um, and I, I I think Miro still did not get her, his quirk back, did he? Yeah. I, I don't think he got it back. So probably that will... I, I don't know if that's going to happen or not, but as we know, A is probably going to be able to do that if she is able to get her quirk under control. So if Mirio gets his quirk back in the future, that will also help a lot because Mirio is one of the strongest. So like if he gets his quirk back, it will be a very big addition, you know, to the strength of the heroes. And uh, yeah, and the whole thing with All Might, like, you know, like I can kind of understand that thing like he as Isaiah said that you're a workaholic <laughs> like <laughs> it's kind of yeah true you know like but still like you know like he like how old is all might not that much he's quite young so like you know like at that age he sees like you know all these heroes fighting and when he sees that his students are fighting as well him being unable to do anything is a pretty big burden you know that he is facing he's like you know he's he's helpless it's it's, it's as if like all your life you like you know you, you was you were one of the not one of the you were the top hero and you fought villains you helped people and now suddenly you have to rely on others for that and it's kind of frustrating you know so yeah like all might it's like he's chill now i can understand that 
but mental stress that's the thing you know so that's one thing that I, i'm guessing all might is going through a lot nowadays you know because i don't know like it yeah like it's basically that he's getting depressed by seeing like he's unable to do anything now i don't know i'm just saying you know because th that is a pretty like you know like he like why did he start being like why did he become a hero because he wanted to save people so that same person when he's seeing people are getting like you know hurt or a villain comes in he just has to wait for some other heroes to show up he can't do anything you know it kind of reminds me of that whole scene when uh you know the, the first season first episode when deku sees bakugo uh, in in the villain's clutch and like at that moment deku was kind of the same as all as all might is now you know without any power nothing to do but full of determination and uh like you know uh, like wants to save people that's why even though he did not have any quirk he just started running and went into it and helped bakugo at that moment even though he had nothing to do all might is probably safe facing the same thing now he is just helpless now standing there without being able to do anything just waiting for some hero to come and help you know so yeah that's that's something that i don't think yeah i don't think people really think about you know like like the amount of mental turmoil that all might is going through in these type of situations just waiting you know for someone else to save others where uh, boy yeah oh <clears throat> yeah this just wait all right and uh, even though like you know Isaac kind of says that you are like you know you are helping by being there and it's true you know like he is helping by being there like he 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 still is the symbol of peace you know you know he still is the symbol of peace in a way like if someone like you know sees all might even though if he's unable to do anything if all might is there people will be like okay like everything is going to go okay not only the people but the heroes as well like you know all might just being there is a big thing he still is the symbol of peace the symbol of peace is still standing so as i said that still helps but you know like all might himself is conflicted about this as far as i could say that he's unable to do anything so yeah he just has to accept it i guess nothing else like what else can he even do you know so like yeah and he's also like you know the, the whole injury it in, in itself is kind of like you know <laughs> we still see him like you know coughing up blood so that injury is another thing which you know is a hindrance to him actually like you know if 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 he did not have that injury he could probably like you know train himself uh, like he is trained well trained you know like and probably try to help others in some other ways and no no i think that's kind of impossible because like the villains have quirks like even if he trains himself what can he do without any quirk so yeah not nah, like scratch that like yeah he just has to accept it i guess so kind of sad and that was that and then the whole thing with hawks and one thing i'm kind of um concerned about is hawks getting into trouble like, like the villains i still don't know if the villains actually still suspect him or not like they they are kind of acting really chummy with each other but i don't know if that's like a trick that the villains are doing or something like i don't know like i'm kind of concerned for hawks and another thing that I, I I'm still quite curious about is best genius. Like I doubt Hawk killed him. Like he Hawk is a hero, so I'm guessing he, he probably like put out a fake. And <laughs> and I think Darby said something like, yeah, this might be a fake, but yeah, you I guess you did it. So I'll give you that. <laughs> so I yeah I'm 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 also sure that's a fake. That's something else most probably. I doubt that's best best genius. So yeah, and another thing that. It's quite curious. I don't know. Um, the little boy in the end. What what was his name? Uh, Dai Dai. Yeah, Dai. He has that doll which we always see in the ending. 
that end of it all. I don't know, I wonder oh, if that has some other significance or something. All right, so yeah, that's it. So this was the Calm Before the Storm episode and next season, everything is going to you know, start the whole war. So yeah, so that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching. This was my reaction to My Hero Academia season five, episode number 25 final episode of this season so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so that's it guys thank you guys for watching and um uh well i we still don't have any news of when season six is going to start but yeah we'll be waiting for that as well like you know season six so it's probably going to be a long wait but yeah so and I'll be obviously replacing this with another anime, which I'll talk about later on. Uh, a new anime season is going to start. Some new animes I'm going to start. I'll make a community post uh, later on. So which animes I'm going to start reacting to, I'll be you know, listing them down there. So yeah. So if you're interested in them, be sure to check them, my future anime reactions as well. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.